School District 2019-2020 official public budget hearing. Today is May 9th. Um, Uh, some of these slides many people have seen uh, before. Talks a little bit about the process used to uh, d develop the budget, reviewing the expenditure and the revenue side. Um, and we'll be talking some about some of our challenges with the budget this year. Um, we've met with each of the principals and worked with different departments to uh, establish some of their needs that we needed to include in the budget. Our proposed budget expenditure, we're looking at the working 2019-2020 column. Overall, our budget has in, uh, increased by $2,119,164 to a expenditure budget of $47,847,549. That's a 4.63% increase over the 18-19 budget of $45 million. Uh, in this process, we've only added one additional special education staff member. We've had a great increase in special education costs too, which impacted our BOCES budget, increasing that by $1.2 million. Uh, this next slide uh, shows a detailed breakdown of our BOCES budget, where you can see that it uh, has increased by the $1.2 million to a total budget of $5.8 million, $5 million in both these expenditures. We're required to report the budget in a three-part budget format. Our administration uh, portion in, uh, decreased slightly by $37,000. Our capital portion increased slightly by $9,000, and our program budget, which includes all of the instructional items for uh, educating our students, increased by $2.1 million. Again, special education costs, contractual costs, and salaries and benefits. So the bottom line is uh, increase over our 2018-19 budget uh, of $2,119,164. In the 2019-20 budget, we are looking to do a capital outlay project of $100,000. This outlay project will focus on some school six items that could not fit under the recent renovations of the building. There are some drainage issues, some parking lot modifications to allow some through access of our buses and some foundation waterproofing. The district will receive building aid in uh, full of 90, about 96.8% in the following fiscal year for the work completed. Um, the last several budgets, the district has budgeted a $50,000 annual contribution to its 2013 repair reserve for unanticipated repair work. We are going to move this money into the maintenance um, portion of our budget to address some LED lighting conversions that will offset um, the costs of it when, through economies of scale and energy supplier rebates. The red circles indicate areas of work on School 6. Um, as you can see, the top right is where the parking lot will be extended to allow through access for the buses. And then there will be some drainage issues um, right there around the, the streets and the building. This picture gives a, a clearer picture of the parking lot through access. Okay, looking at our revenues, we're seeing a loss, um, continued loss through our NRG, um, through the restructured pilot agreement and mitigation aid. The pilot is at $200,000 approximately, and the mitigation aid is being reduced to 50% of our loss, or $1,899,000. That's down about $800,000 from the uh, 2019 amount of $2.8 million want to note that um, the changes in the state aid budget from when the governor came out, he had a 1.9% increase of 412,000 of foundation aid increase. 
the legislatives came back and increased it um, to 5.09% increase to a little over a million dollars in foundation aid. That's $668,000 over the governor's proposal. So we're very grateful for that. The levy limit calculation this year, we could have gone out with a $10.3 million levy, a 3.38% increase over last year's levy, or $336,000 of new revenue. The board has decided to go out with a 0% increase on our levy. Okay. Um, here in this top section under 2020, we see our total revenues at $43,703,000. We can see our total expenditures in the lower section at $47,847,000. This means that we're going to need to apply in the red circle a $4.1 million of fund balance towards the budget in order to balance it. Here we can see our tax levy is a $0% 0 increase. Our state aid up 4.26% overall. Uh, the mitigation and NRG aids and pilots are down 16%. We have other revenues that are increasing by about 10%, and the uh, appropriated fund balance is increasing at $1.1 million. So again, over 2018-2019, we've got a total budget increase of $2,119,000. Uh, this has been presented a number of times. It's just the levy limit calculation showing we could have gone out with a 3.38%. Here is the calculation at 0% where we're not using $336,000. And next year for a carryover, we'll only be able to utilize $154,000 of that. Uh, here we uh, show our uh, levy coming out at $9.9 .9 million, a 0% increase on uh, the estimated tax rates. And I do want to qualify that these rates are just estimates. They're subject to changes in assessments and changes in equalization rates, which the district has no control over. And those will not be coming out until probably July. But right now we're anticipating a tax on true rate of $17.81 per thousand. A look at our tax rate history. You can see it's, it's increased and decreased at times, but the last few years we're keeping it fairly stable. Uh, should we need to go to a contingency budget, we would not be able to increase our tax levy over the prior year, so the levy would stay the same. However, under contingency budget regulations, we would need to cut certain items which would be at the determination of the board for non-contingent expenses, but approximately $437,000 would need to be cut, including uh, community use of build, uh, buildings and grounds, certain equipment and people su supplies, certain salary increases. The capital outlay projects would then need to be come out of the budget. In summary, this year we're seeing a, a slight revenue gain um, in our previous presentations, we were at a loss of $216,000, so the increase in the legislative budget certainly helped us in this uh, situation. Our next steps is the annual budget vote to be held on May 21st. The proposition for the budget is $47,847,549. The budget vote will be held Tuesday, May 21st from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the high school auxiliary gym right here off of 620 Marauder Drive. It must be a qualified voter of the district and we have three board of education seats up for election. Thank you, that concludes our hearing.